I thought to try to get myself uh, back into the motions of things, I would um, watch a Jap another Japanese noir to sort of put my head in another space um, because it's it's been difficult. I, I finally slept last night. I stayed up for about 40 hours, I think, before I could sleep. I just couldn't couldn't turn off my brain, actually, to take a Benadryl um, to just put myself out. And I woke up, and I still feel terrible, but I'm going to – one facet of myself is going to keep fighting, and the other facet of myself is going to self-care. And part of that is enjoying what you love, which is what I was saying yesterday. So um, – I'm diving back into noir member, and um, and I said I would watch these Japanese noir to sort of uh, expand my repertoire of noir, and uh, these Japanese noirs are quite great. I haven't gotten to the Kurosawa yet, which were really made uh, in the early, much earlier than the 60s noir, but that's sort of where I'm at right now is the 60s noir. So I watched Cool Gun Story, um, which is sort of like if you took the asphalt jungle and the killing and mixed them together. Um, it's from the Nakatsu Nek Nekatsu Noir uh, set from Criterion. It's on Filmstruck. It has Joe Shishindo as the main character. He was also in um, Branded to Kill, which is on my watch list for this year. And basically, he gets sucked into the mob. Uh, he has a, a disabled sister. He, um, the femme fatale falls in love with him. There's a retired boxer. They're trying, there's horse racing and gambling. They're trying to ride, rob an armored car. It's literally like everything you could imagine from a 40s or 50s noir shoved into one 1964 Japanese noir. Um, with really cool sunglasses because it's the 60s, you know. So it's fun. It's much more easy to follow than Tokyo Drifter pretty straightforward. I get sucked in, then I try to leave again, then I get sucked in again because they kill somebody and I have to get revenge. People die. Uh, money goes everywhere. It's not a happy ending. Hence, cool gun story. Um, there's a couple more uh, from the set that I'm hoping to watch this year. So uh, look forward to reviews from those. I, I can't really go any deeper because I my brain can't really process right now, but um, it's it's definitely, if you like noir, I recommend this uh, just to see how other cultures take those tropes and apply them to their own sort of storytelling ways, because it's, it's interesting to see how one sort of uh, type of filmmaking finds its way across the world. Um, because you could really, other than the fashions, you could really take this story and plop it into 1940s, uh, like Poverty Row Noir, and it would be the exact same thing. It's it's really fascinating. So again, this is um, Takumi Furukawa's Cool Gun Story from 1964. You can get it from Criterion on one of their Eclipse sets, or you can watch it on Filmstruck. Uh, and I quite recommend it. I hope you're all doing well. And remember to drink water. It's very important to stay hydrated. Yes. <laughs>